Hi everyone, Bob here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to improve your character texture in After Effects CS 5.5. First off, I want to create a new composition, so I'm going to go ahead on top and create a new composition here. Now you can play with the resolution, which I'm going to I'm going to use the 1950 by 1080 for a 1080p resolution, which is HD. And the duration, you can put whatever duration you want. I'm going to put 10 seconds, it uh, doesn't matter for me since I just want to show you some cool effects. And I'm going to click OK. Now you should have something like this. If the resolution doesn't fit and if it's like this for you, you can go here and click on fit which is going to bring this resolution on uh, just to fit with your your workspace so you can zoom in now what i want to do is import my footage from fraps that i got from wall metal viewer so i'm just gonna go here and select this i'm gonna take this guy bring it in and then you should have this. You wanna you wanna bring your footage here in the project section because you cannot bring it anywhere else. So it's very important to bring it here. And now you should have something like this. Now you're gonna drag the footage here in the middle of your screen, and I'm gonna place it here. Now you can resize it to adjust it for your composition. Actually, I just want it to fit, so I'm gonna right click on it and to transform and set fit to comp. Now you should have something like this. Now I want to remove the green around the character, so I'm just gonna go here in the effect panel and select key light. Now you should have key light 1.2. I'm gonna drag it on the footage and then I'm gonna select this on screen color. You have a little icon here and I'm gonna select this and click on the green. It should make the green disappear. But now I don't know if you see it, but you have kind of an aura around the character, which I want to remove. So I'm just gonna select the color, the green color, and then make it lighter. So like a lighter green. Then you should have something like this. Now the aura should have been removed. Now, I want to select another effect and I want to select tint. I'm going to bring it on top and now you should have your footage in black and white. I'm going to go in the option here and reduce the amount to around, say, 32. Now it looks like this. With tint, without tint. You see that the color is kind of fading away. So. I want to make my character a little bit darker. I'm going to select the effect curves. And I'm going to play with the settings here. I'm going to bring the bar down. Since when I bring it down, it makes the character look darker. And when I bring it on top, it makes it look brighter. So I'm just, just want to make it look a little bit darker. No, it looks perfect. All right. Now I want to make the, the light effect on my character to make him look like, just to make the light looks better. So I'm just gonna go on top and select layer, new layer, and then create an adjustment layer. I'm gonna select this, the effect on sharp mask and drag it on the adjustment layer. You can drag it on top since the adjustment layer is on top or you can directly drag it on the adjustment layer. Now there's a little difference, but I'm gonna play with the settings here. And make, okay, maybe just like this. I don't want to put it too bright. I'm gonna play settings. Maybe just to make it look a little bit better. All right. So as you can see, 
there's a big difference. The color look way better with this, and the light is way more pronounced. You can see around the mask and around the shoulder there's light and everything. It looks way better. So we are pretty much done here. You can let your character just like that and then continue to apply your effect and put your text or do whatever you want. But you can create a new layer. This is optional. You can go ahead and create a new layer. This is going to be the background. It's going to be black. And then create a new layer again and make it black again. It's going to be on top. Now you want to modify the mode to overlay. If you don't see the mode option, it might be because you see this. To change this for this, you want to click on F4. And now you should have some you should have all the option here. Then you want to create you want to put the option uh, not the, the option, I'm sorry. The effect fill and you're going to drag it on the black solid on top. Now you should have something like this. I want to put orange kind of orange light on my, my character. So I'm gonna select orange in the option and then reduce the opacity of the effect field to, I don't know, let's say a bit too bright. Then you see look great. So if I turn the layer off, as you can see, there's a bit of a change. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video, I hope I was clear enough, if not, let me know in the comment, and if I was, let me know in the comment too, so I really want to know, um, I'm actually going to improve uh, in my next uh, my next tutorials, this was only my first one, so yeah, um, I'm going to do a lot more of the tutorials, not only After Effects, this was just my first video, I'm going to do Photoshop too. And uh, yeah, you can send me private message or let me know in the comment if there's something that you didn't understand. I'm gonna help you, I swear. So yeah, just let me know. And I'm gonna release some more video in the future. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you next time, guys.